Now I'd like to introduce one of those town residents who helped us with the bond campaign and has supported the library in many ways. Brett Pelletier has served on the town council since 2010 as council liaison to the library and was on the library construction coordination committee. Brett. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you all for being here on uh, such a lovely Saturday morning. Um, it's telling. It's a good day to do just about anything, including uh, yard work or sailing or whatever, and you're all here, so that's, that's lovely. Okay. Uh, as Bertie Wooster may very well have said, I imagine, if he were given the opportunity, a good morning and a hearty what ho. <laughs> what ho library trustees, what ho building committee, what ho library staff, what ho supporters, volunteers, donors, and friends. And especially what ho old can of soup, what ho, what ho, what ho indeed. In case it's not apparent, I, or in case I'm a bit too obtuse in my addiction, I am a huge fan of P.G. Woodhouse. Louder? Louder? I'll say it again. In case I, it's not apparent, or in case I'm a bit too obtuse in my diction, I am a huge fan of P.G. Woodhouse. For those unfamiliar, Woodhouse was the famed English creator of the story Bertie Wooster and his man Jeeves. If you are unfamiliar, I would only point out the good fortune of actually being at a library when we're talking about this matter. I'm sure there's a copy of Carry On Jeeves somewhere in the building behind us. Bert, Bertie Wooster had a penchant for greeting his friends with a hearty what ho. When I started thinking about what I wanted to say today, I knew that Woodhouse would be a source of inspiration. He was an incredibly readable, relatable, and relevant pen, and his characters balanced fantasy with what is sometimes a cold reality that I certainly can relate to in somewhat professional politics. So I found a quote that I thought was particularly appropriate for the occasion today. It goes like this. There is no surer foundation for a beautiful friendship than a mutual taste in literature. I think that's lovely, and I think that's why we're all here today, if only just a little bit. When I started to think about what was worth talking about, I was overcome with a familiar sensation. When I walked through the door of the lovely library gala, I was totally and utterly overwhelmed. At first, I didn't notice any of the lovely costumes. I didn't see the food. I didn't hear the noise. I saw a dream become reality. The interior of a building that I had been dreaming about, like many of you, for years. I feel that way again today. I'm not sure if it'll go away, but I hope it lingers just a little bit longer. I spend a lot of my time, personally and professionally and politically, trying to squeeze value out of everything I can. Sometimes it feels like things are held together with a bit of rubber band and shoestring, but that New England resourcefulness can be very helpful in times of strain, and it's a good reminder that when you're spending someone else's money, frugality isn't a vice. Especially in a time of budget inquietude, we'll just say, uh, when we find ourselves pressured to buy more with less, help more people with fewer resources, and fix more problems with ever-narrowing solutions, it's inspiring and heartwarming to finally see what a community can buy for 25 cents on the dollar. And that's not a mistake. It's not accidental. It was through a lot of hard work, a lot of generous donors, and a lot of love. Love you all show for the community. Love for people that you've never met and likely will never meet. Love for people who don't even exist yet. A passion for helping those who want help and care for those who might be too afraid to ask. It's said that decisions are made by those who show up. From my experience, that's true. It's not always pleasant, but it's reality. There is no prize or award for being in the right place at the right time and doing what is right. That's just what we teach our children we're supposed to do. But when you take opportunities to make great things out of the happenstance of everyday life, you all deserve all the credit that's due. I wanted to keep these comments short because I felt I didn't need very much time to say thank you. Thank you all. Trustees, building committee members, library staff, volunteers, donors. 
everyone else. I can't tell you how very proud I am to be part of this community today and know that I was in the right place at the right time. How pleased I am with the results of everyone's toil and how eager I am to start integrating this new library into my own personal life and the life of the community. As my English friends might say, I'm bloody well chuffed. And to you all, I say a job awfully well done. Thank you very much.